In this video, I'll show you some examples of how the luminosity blend mode can be used. Here is a quick and very clear example. With this panorama, I'll add a curves adjustment using Command M on Mac, Control M on Windows, and I'll create a series of nodes that serve to enhance contrast in the image. Now, part of the issue here is that the adjustment is increasing color intensity in each color channel equally. This results in the blue sky becoming more saturated, as well as the yellow and red tones in the foreground. This effect is not necessarily bad and may actually be desirable. What I can do, however, is change the adjustments blend mode to luminosity. Immediately, we can see a reduction in color intensity throughout the entire image. If I hide the adjustment, then show it again, it is effectively enhancing contrast without significantly skewing or altering the color intensity as well. The luminosity blend mode causes the layer to blend using a weighted RGB intensity rather than each color channel being treated equally. This is a spectral weighting that is designed to mimic human visual perception, where the eye is most sensitive to green wavelengths followed by red then blue. I can demonstrate this weighting in a very clear fashion using this document, where I have a top row and bottom row of red, green and blue rectangles. I'll add a black and white adjustment layer and clip it to the top row group. Notice that each color is treated equally with the conversion to grayscale. Now I'll add a channel mixer adjustment, change the color model to gray and clip it to the bottom row group. The green rectangle is brightest, followed by red, then blue. The luminosity blend mode is effectively using the same process as the channel mixer adjustment here. It is taking the red, green, and blue channels and multiplying them by weighted values. We may also refer to luminosity as weighted intensity. Another way we can use this luminosity blend mode is to control brightness of specific color ranges. I'll add a black and white adjustment to the top of the layer stack here, and I'll change the adjustments blend mode to luminosity. Rather than rendering as black and white, this image will now appear in color again, and I can use the color contribution sliders to control the brightness of each color range instead. For this image, reducing the cyan and blue contribution really helps to strengthen the separation between foreground and background detail. I can hide the adjustment layer to see the original image, then show it again to see the result. Finally, here is another idea you can experiment with. I'll add a channel mixer adjustment to this image, and I'll quickly swap the red and blue channel information around. To do this, on the red channel, I'll set red to 0% and blue to 100%. Then I'll switch to the blue channel and set red to 100% and blue to 0%. The full color result will look strange, but I can then change the blend mode to luminosity. I'll hide the adjustment to see the original image. Then once I show the adjustment, we'll see that the brightness of the yellow plumage and blue head has been swapped. It is subtle unless you have a direct comparison between the before and after, but this technique has allowed me to promote more of a focus on the head of the bird rather than the body. And that was a quick look at the luminosity blend mode with some example use cases. I hope you found this video helpful and thank you for watching.